Hi, and welcome to Dave Barler Guitar. As you know, in the last video, we put together this guitar. Um, I promised in this video to um, showcase the pickups, um, plug this guitar into an amplifier, and let it scream. So here it comes, right now. Just to recap, this is an MG74. It's a Washburn Mercury series guitar uh, that uh, was purchased in, in 1992. Uh, so you can get a better look at it. Um, so anyway, what we've done is we stripped all the uh, all the paint off it. Um, there was uh, a veneer on on here, uh, which looked crap anyway. So we, we got rid of that. We just peeled all that off, got all back to the wood, and then burnt it some more with a um, with a paint stripper gun. Obviously, we did the headstock too. So anyway, I kind of like it. Uh, I like it. I like the color of it. I like the way it feels. Um, and maybe it breathes more, I don't know, I don't know, maybe you should, uh, it's a tone wood thing, I don't know, understand anything about that. This is like three pieces of wood stuck together, as far as I'm concerned, and it's just wood, isn't it? But anyway, we won't, won't uh, argue about that. Anyway, great thing is, all the hardware's the same, uh, the pickups are from Axtec, um, which is the Iron Gear pickups, um, and also the... Um, the surrounds uh, from Axtec as well. So um, these Iron Gear pickups are uh, ceramic. Uh, this one's wound to 15k, this one's wound to 14k. They're called steam hammers. And um, uh, if you're into thrash uh, and really heavy stuff, some gnarly metal, uh, these are the pickups for you. So uh, let's just, uh, I'll just do a few, you know, just do a few chops here and there and, you know, see what comes out. Um, I don't know what I'm going to play. I'm going to make it up as I go along, like I usually do. <laughs> With a, with a trim for a long time. It's been a long time since I played with a trim. It's a lot of fun. Get one. <laughs> Sounds great. I mean, what more? What do you want me to play? I mean, I don't know. It does everything really. Um, it does what it, what I sounded. It, it sounds like what I expected it to sound like. Um, which um, you know, some people like to be surprised, but I don't like to be surprised. I like things to do what I want them to do. These seem to do what I want them to do, and they seem to sound the way I expected them to sound. Which uh, for thirty pound <laughs> for one of these pickups, well, you know, let's get this right. Thirty UK. Uh, pounds, UK sterling, if you're in the US, I don't know, just put that in a currency converter and see what comes out, uh, but 30 pounds is uh, a remarkable amount of money for a pickup which does what this does. I don't know how Keith does it, but um, you know, he keeps bringing out pickups that are really good, he completely blows me away every time I try something new, but um, well, I'm sure there are other makers of pickups that are really good and you would put the comments down at the bottom and tell me. Um, obviously, because uh, these are available. If, if you're in the US, you can order these from Iron Gear. He will ship them to you. I think the, the, the shipping costs a little bit more, but it's still really good value for money to get a set like these. But uh, the other thing I noticed as well is um, for, for high output pickups, they're fairly quiet. Listen. Um, maybe that's my wiring skills, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So the other thing is, with hot pickups, usually when you have a hot pickup, you lose a, a, a bit of top end, and um, I'm not losing the top end with this. So I'm going to go and um, I'm just going to show you uh, the. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of things, right? So let's just to show you the difference between the bridge pickup and the neck pickup. First. That's bridge. Neck. Bridge. 
Okay, let me take, take some of this gain off. Let's just go. Uh, let's just go to crunch because we were in super crunch. Just go to crunch now. So I got the Black Star ID Core Twenty there. Uh, we're just we're just going to do crunch. This is just crunch. This is kind of AC/DC territory for uh, most people, but I think with these pickups, it might give you a little bit more than that. Okay, so this uh, so um, bridge. I like the fact that they're very um, balanced. That's the word. I, is that the word I'm looking for? Yeah, balanced. Um, sometimes you get a guitar um, with a bridge in the neck, perhaps maybe with a with with a guitar which maybe has less frets, and this has got 24 frets, which makes probably makes a big difference. Because obviously <laughs> the pickup is further down the guitar. But um, I like I like it, uh, especially for high gain when you do high gain stuff. That you're you're, you're they're, they're they're well balanced. There's not a, like a big jump between like this trebly kind of biting pickup into this like this muffly kind of low end pickup. So like, I'll show you. So, which, yeah. Yeah, mid, middle, middle of the road. Again, it's kind of very, uh, it's kind of a, a bit of that, bit of that, and the, you know the difference is not massive. It's nice. It's just right, especially if you're playing like you know speedy metal and thrash and stuff like that, which probably, as you well know, I don't do a lot of um, metal stuff, but you know I'm willing to do a bit here and there. So backing off uh, for you purist people, if you back this off, uh, let's go to the. Uh, Neck pick up, back this off a little bit. Because it retains, it, it because of the clarity of the pickup, uh, and it was a hot pickup. You don't usually get, you don't usually get a nice kind of sound. That'll be my phone. Go away. So uh, yeah, so you don't usually get bluesy kind of sound with it. But hey, you do here. So um, anyway. There you go. That's this guitar. That's the Washburn. We're all done. Um, please subscribe. Um, put some comments in the bottom. Share my video. Join my Facebook page. Links are in the uh, description below. Do all that kind of stuff. Have a great day and I'll catch you later.